Hello everyone. In today's video, we're going to set up a LoRa communication system based on the MeshTastic project. The first thing we'll do is take out what we need from the package. The Helltech V3 LoRa development kit. And an 868 MHz antenna, which is the frequency used in Europe. When we open the kit's box, we'll find a coaxial cable to SMA connector adapter. And of course, the Geltech V3 board itself. We continue by carefully screwing the antenna onto the SMA connector, making sure it is securely tightened to ensure a good connection and avoid potential signal loss during the operation of the device. Then we connect it to the board. Next, we take a USB-A to USB-C cable and connect the kit to our PC. We'll see the board power on and display the Helltech logo. Once the board is powered on, we need to go to the MeshTastic device flashing page, where we'll select our device and flash the latest stable version of the project, making sure everything is ready for it to function properly. If everything has gone correctly, we should now be able to send messages between the devices and start testing the communication system. To make the device portable, we can 3D print a case, like this one from AliCat. Its assembly is quite simple. We just need to take the Helltech board and press it into the plastic case. If done correctly, the board will be firmly secured, and the charging port will align with the corresponding hole, allowing for easy connection. We should also place the SMA connector in its corresponding position, making sure that the thread sticks outwards so we can connect and disconnect any compatible antenna. It's important to tighten the nuts that come screwed onto the connector properly to prevent it from moving during use. And finally, we will close the back cover of the casing to protect the system. If you wish to add an internal battery, now is the time, as it will be fitted into the back cover. Once closed, we screw in the antenna. It is important not to power on the board without the antenna connected as the chip could be damaged. If you add the battery, you'll be able to use the system independently, without needing to keep it connected all the time. In this example, we can see how messages can be sent even in an area with limited coverage. Thanks to this system, we were able to communicate over a distance of up to 2.7 kilometers without any issues.